I can speak it. Dude, I, I, I was motivated when I seen y'all doing the jumping jacks. I was like, oh, look at that. They really gained it. They, they. <laughs> <laughs> when I see y'all do the thing on the damn shit, I see y'all really in here doing pregnancy workouts. That's the most funniest shit ever. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a back like I never left. You feel me? This is facts. All right, yo, this is what we doing. Hold on, I'm going to let it build up a little bit. I'm going to let it build up a little bit. Yo, Trip was live. I ain't going to lie. Trip, Trip dropped that knowledge. Like, and then here from a, I think a mono poly relationship is, is, is so unheard of. You know what I mean? I don't think people even knew that even existed. Someone being monogamous while the other person was polyamorous. You know, we don't really talk about these things. We're just talking about thruples. No, no offense to thruples. I mean, I'm in a triad V, poly V triad, so shit. It is what it is, but I just really want to touch on everything else. But this next couple, this next couple, look, they called them. We was at a, we was at, Shalom, where were we? We was on, I forgot what radio show it was on. They called away from New York, and they're like, yo, we want to send man love from up here. So, you know, ever since then, I've been loving them. I've been loving their energy, you know, because I'm hyped up all the time. I just be always hyped up for no reason, shit. I don't know. But, um, what's up? All right, fuck, whatever. But anyway, let me bring them on. Let me bring them on. Let me bring them on because they're going to tell us about what they learned, how that challenge was, what they got. You're going to love them. They, they're a live-ass family. Let me do it. You remember when we was on the Mrs. Blue, the Mrs. Blue? What up, family? What up? Yo, what's good I see that y'all looking deck fresh and everything. I feel so special. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Welcome to the meeting. <laughs> yeah, what up? How y'all doing, man? Tell him, man. We good. Okay, Can't complain. Okay. How y'all? How y'all loving this quarantine? It's all right. I'm loving it. This is my normal life. Right. She's a. She's a. <laughs> she's a. You sound like Shalon. Shalon, shit, shit. I can be inside the house. I really don't. Fuck that. Yeah. I that's all. <laughs> We outside. I'm always outside. <laughs> I need my gym back, really, at the end of the day. Shit. All right, let them open that back up. We can let it. But, yes, most definitely, I want to thank y'all for joining me. Want to go ahead and speak a little bit, kind of educate those that don't understand or haven't even really got the opportunity to experience the life, you know what I mean, that are on the search, right. they ain't really experienced it. I know you guys went through it and everything. Like I said, everything is a learning process. You know, we got to take everything day to day, so I'm glad y'all are so open to um, want to even put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, go ahead and introduce yourselves for those who don't know. What up? I'm Anthony, once again from the Nice Family. Y'all already know if y'all seen the videos. Y'all know I'm already on the page. I'm all over it, you know, doing shout outs and anything. So that, that's me. And I'm Quinn. <laughs> that's the wife, actually. So we're married, just in case. If you don't follow us or if you don't know who we are, we are definitely a married uh set up we 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 were in a triad um so once again we're here to drop that knowledge on our our experience when it comes down to it man yes yes yeah and that and that's what i wanted to kind of touch up on you know i mean that was the first time y'all actually ever tried to do a, a triad situation huh was, was that together. your first time relationship together together yes Oh, so we got to go back on the history. Okay, hold on. Let me, let's go back yeah. on the history there, because I need to educate myself on this. So where did all this begin? How long have y'all been married, first of all? We've been married only for a year and four months now. Mm -hmm. All right. So how did this whole, where did your poly journey begin then? Well, I've been poly since before we've even really met. So I've, I've done the poly lifestyle. I've been in trans. I've been in the whole situation. Um, when we met and got together, did you bring it up or? Well, when me, when we, well, when we got back together, because <laughs> that's when we met, that was, long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago, when we got back together, um, I, I actually brought it up because I, um, he discussed it with, he, he discussed it. I, I saw, we, we was watching something. Um, a show, and I'm like, I was sitting there looking like, wait, what's going on here? Like, is this person, like, what's going on? And then he started to talk about it with his experience, and I was like, oh, okay. So then I just started to, you know, have more conversation about it, and it was like, oh, okay, so that's how that works. And then I started to learn the different dynamics that was going on, and because some of them dynamics, I'm like, uh, no, okay, I'm not with that. But then I'm like, oh, okay. 
So, okay, there's different ones. All right. <laughs> yeah, the options are out there. It's open. Right. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, you know, so, she yeah. over here, recently queen over here. So she done started reading books and looking at posts. And I'm like, do your yeah. research, girl. I research, told you. When, I saw you guys, when I saw you guys on the interview on the radio station and um, uh, I was listening, I was like, okay. And then Solange, Solange was the one that got me. But when I was in Solange and she was talking about how she, uh, how it came about to her, you know, with um, not the say nothing bad, but, you know, the infidelity and everything and how oh, she... Finished. I cheated. I, I think. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we didn't sit that story over and over again. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, you, I did my shit. I ain't but, shit. I ain't <laughs> no. But it was how she, how she worded it and how she came about it with her thoughts and how she wanted to meet, you know, Chantel and the reason she wanted to meet Chantel and everything. I was sitting there like, you know what, that's real. You know, the her thoughts about it and the way she came about it was was real to me now after that i was like oh i love them because i love shalange like her thought about it was so real and it was like you would never find really too many women that would think of it like that or be like you know what he has a relationship with this woman he loves this woman and there's a reason you know what i mean there's a reason why he chose her there's a reason why he loves her and we've been together for so long there's a reason and i want to meet her i want to you know i want to bring her i want to bring her and let that you know, happen. I can't judge love. I'm not gonna stop nobody from love. And her thought about it yeah. had me sitting here like, wow, that's real. So ever since then, yeah. I was like, you know, that's real. That's a real situation right there. And it took, it had to take like some strength for that. <laughs> no woman really did things like that. So yeah. from that right there, I was like, oh yeah, that's 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 real right there. Yeah, that's she's real. An amazing woman. woman. <laughs> she's an amazing woman. She really did. Yeah. Like you know, it, it, it was a lot. You know, that's why. That's why I like that our story is really inspiring and helping others. That's what love really is. It's love many faces. It's going to face different challenges. We don't, we don't know what challenges it's going to bring. It's just how we handle those challenges. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to tell y'all a secret, right? I'm going to tell you I'm a secret, right? The first interview, the radio interview, we were all arguing right before you were going on there. <laughs> they didn't like me. I ain't like them niggas. I, we, <laughs> it, was, it was over a picture, too. Over a picture. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but that, that's a whole other story. But yeah. <laughs> but that, uh, um, what's call it? So what was the first thing in Polly that you tried? Um straight up straight triad. We went to a closed triad. Um like I said, I've been in it before. I've I've done triads before, so that's more or less what I was used to. I knew about the other dynamics that was out there, but where I felt more home at is in a triad you know that's where i felt most comfortable uh, to me I, i've been in honestly in a dynamic where it was an open triad versus a closed triad but this one in particular our first go at it being a married couple was a closed triad yeah and what difficult what, what what did you what when you came across doing the closed triad together what complications like what challenges were you guys meeting you know what was the Shit that kind of made it a little overwhelming. Where it was like, hey, we probably can't do this. Well, I don't think we came to a point where it was like we can't do it because we're still in the process of searching so that we can continue to, it, yeah. you know, indulge in it. Um, but for I know you you say it a lot, and other people that was on your show actually said it multiple times. This ain't easy, y'all. It may look oh, yeah. easy. This by far is not easy at all. I mean, once, if you get a setup or a dynamic or whatever it may be that works and everyone clicks, all right, it may look easy, but it's the work that's in the background that's making it look easy. It ain't mm -hmm. just going to pop up and just be simple. Nah, it, it's, it's not. And we're still pursuing that dynamic, you know, so I'm not saying the difficulty scared us at all, but it's definitely a work in project, just like a regular relationship will be work. This is work times two. It, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that easy at all. So I need everyone to really grasp and understand that it, it looks good. It looks good. You know, you you'll be on TV looking at a Red Lobster commercial, be like, "Yo, damn, that lobster look great." <laughs> damn, <Yo, laughs> they look good as some them crab legs. Oh, that's real. But as soon as you get to Red Lobster, they ain't tell you about the line you gotta wait on. They ain't tell you how much that dinner cost you. They ain't tell you none of that. So, yeah, that was that was that was probably the difficulty in the beginning because 
with me, you know, just now learning about it and hearing about it more, of course, I've heard about, um, you know, polygamy and all that, of course, from TV and hearing about, you know, old times, polygamy, all that. And then multiple wives, like, what? Who does one man multiple wives? Who does that? But then I thought I learned dynamics. I was like, okay, so you don't have to have multiple. You don't have to. You can do it the way you want it set. So in the beginning, when, you know, he first started talking about his experience, I was like, oh, that sounds, you know, that sounds like something I can do. But me, um, I don't really have, like, um, that female interaction when it comes to, like, friendships. So it's hard yeah. for me to bond with female. So first like I have to have a bond with the female in order for me to actually you know get that type of relationship that attraction so I'm like mm, dang I don't even like I don't have bond with females like that so how I don't know how it's going I'm like all right but it can get comfortable but for me I think in the beginning the first time I tr we wanted to try it, I jumped into it like okay let's just do it but then once things started happening like uh you know if we have conversation and certain things that was said it's like okay wait I don't know. Like you gotta talk. You gotta like. Do you have to call her, baby? Like you call me, baby? Do you have to like like mm, some things I'm like not agreeing with? And I was like, wait a minute. I don't. I ain't know this is how this is supposed to go. So then that's when I was like, all right, I gotta put a halt. Let me put a halt because maybe in my head it's something totally different than what I'm thinking. Because I, you know, at this time, that time I just was listening. I didn't research. Yeah. I didn't really look at. So I just was like. Okay, let me let me put a halt to before I say yeah, I'm in, I'm with this, I'm into this because I don't know now. But then after a while, when I really started, you know, list, looking into it and listening to other people more about it, and then when I came about y'all interviewing, I was like, oh, now I have a better understanding. Now I can get with you know what it is. I can choose my own dynamic, or we can choose our own dynamic of what it is supposed to be, yeah. and it how we want it to work. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I get it. So it was more better the understanding of it because people don't have an understanding of it. And once you get that, it's it's up to you to choose what you want to, what dynamic you want. So yeah, it was, it was in the beginning it was difficult for me. <laughs> yeah, that that that's the best way to do it. It's, it's trial and error. It's really communication and, and figuring right. figuring everything out how it is. Like it's, it's like I said, that's why we and Trip are talking about. That a lot of people prepare themselves thinking it's gonna go this way. So you set your mind right. to it. And then, you know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't go that way, now now you're like, well, fuck off. Wait a minute. Now, now I you're right. this shit. Like, <laughs> and, and then, like, how you said the baby thing. Like, you know, the baby thing. Well, wait, I didn't, like, because Shalon had said that shit one time in the interview. She was like, you don't know what's going to trigger your jealousy. You don't know. It could be anything. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? And sometimes it was the most simplest shit that would trigger her jealousy. It's because Chantel put three extra ice cubes in my motherfucking coven. <laughs> You, you used to only like five. Now you got eight? Now you got eight? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> and you speak of a whole fucking thing. Like, yo, we really arguing about ice cubes? <laughs> you know, so yeah. So it does, it does take a lot of communication. It takes a lot of growth, you know, in those right. situations. Because you can't, you can't predict. And a lot of that's where the mistake is. You predict things that you expect, your expectations are, good, are set in stone. And when they don't come out that way, it's tragic. It's just it's chaos, right. and we spilled on that. We spilled on that. You know, what I mean, what what um what challenges do you say people really got to look at besides that? You know, what I mean, did y'all live together with the other woman that y'all brought in, or we all just no. on the outside? Here's here's the I, yeah, I'll give you a little story that on that. <laughs> It yeah, was going that. Okay, how far did you get? How far did you get? I, I'm about to fill you in. Here, here it goes. Boom. This is what happened, right? So we we met a person actually online and it was um black BPN. BPN, Black Poly Nation. They yeah. you know how they used to do ads where they throw up a person, yo, such and such is looking for da da da. So the wife, I give her lead on this whole shebang. You know, I let if you don't got the vibe with this individual, hey, it ain't it ain't a go. You know, I didn't want to say it was more like a hierarchy thing, because it definitely wasn't. It was just that I know how I know where she's at when it comes down to being comfortable with a person or an individual entirely. Me, I'm the type of person I can click with you. It don't matter what it is. I can click with you and we can vibe out. But I know when it comes down to her, where she's at when it comes down to being comfortable. So I let her take lead on majority of the things, although we communicate 110 percent, everything that she would talk to the individual about, whatever the case may be, we communicate 100 percent, 100 percent. So. We you know we did the whole. We followed BPN. We hit the well. She hit the individual up. They chopping it up for you know what it was a few days or whatever the case may be. 
And then, you know, she was like, you know, hey, babe, I got somebody I need you to, I want you to meet. I want you to talk to them, da, da, da. So, of course, we created group chat. So the group chat, once again, was popping. Like, every day, all day. It was conversation um, at work, not at work, on the way home, cooking, okay. FaceTiming. You know, we did, I can honestly say we did everything on our part to make that individual feel wanted. Like, this was not really a marriage you know i made we i made sure to include her into everything that we did every mm -hmm. aspect of our life to make it seem like yo we're not forgetting you about yeah. anything you want to make yeah. her feel involved it's long distance word so shit we about to sleep the living room we're going to live chat you real quick and we're going to sleep together go sleep your living room we're gonna be sleeping together. like that's hey. you know, all of that so make it you know to make it you know, a solid connection because we didn't want her to feel left out because it's easy for the third person that don't have anyone to feel left out when they're seeing this right here all day, every day. And pictures on live, they see us together. And that's not that's not a good thing when you're trying to bring another person in or if they're trying to fit into your dynamic. So we we did that. You know, once again, it was long distance. Um, it was actually out there where you at. So, we, you know, we, we definitely was... We did everything we had to do to make that connection. But, you know, over time, you start to learn the person. You start to, everything that they say, to me, it, it, it sticks in my head. So you can say something to me one time and I will remember it. You will never have to remind me. But once you start saying things and it don't add up to me, I'll fall back completely. I'll be like, nah, I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to give you a chance to fix whatever lie or whatever the case may be that you got. I'll give you your opportunities. And she's the one as well. She will give you your opportunities. You know, yo, just fix your lies, whatever, because we ain't stupid. We play dumb, but we smart as hell. I, yeah. I hear everything you're saying, and I'm not going to try to forget it. And she's the same. She's the same way. So we started seeing that person's real character, and we knew the backstory. We we researched to the point where we know your whole backstory. So anything that you tell us past mm -hmm. that, nah, that's a that's a dub. You lying, like. <laughs> Share with all that. We already know your story. That ain't true. Da, da, da. So we started really, really learning the person, seeing the person for what they were. Um, and, you know, it just came to the point where we figured out that she was just trying to big herself up to be more than what she was when there really wasn't any reason to do that. Like, I don't understand. I'm not going to sit here and say, I got, yo, I got a million dollars over here. Yo, look at my paintings. You ain't got no painters, boy. I'm not, I'm not the one to do that. You know, I got called yeah. outside. It's like last time, but I'm not. I don't. I, that doesn't mean anything to you. I, I want to know you for you. I want to learn you. I'll be the one to sit here and ask a million and one questions so that I can know who you are. I don't care yeah. about sex thing. Yeah. That that yeah. means yeah. absolutely nothing. She can tell you when I first when we first started talking. I asked a million and one questions because I want to know everything. I don't want to skip nothing. I don't want to leave something to chance or I'm doing something and you don't like it. No, 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 no. I don't want none of that to ever happen. So when I'm talking to a person, I'm talking to an individual, no matter who it is. I'm going to try to learn you. I want you to learn me. I yeah. want us to be like this. I want us to be tight. We, we don't got to be best friends, but you be like, no, damn, that's a real duel because we chopped it up for an hour and I don't even know what the hell, you know, how the conversation even started. But I know that nigga is real at the end of the day. And yeah. I a lot about that dude, and I appreciate it. You know, people don't have conversations like that. People just want the quick, you know, the quick, yo, what up? How you doing? All right, cool. You want to go out? All right, cool. Let's meet at the crib. Nah, I don't, I don't want that. Like, nah, I want to know you. Like, because anybody could be anybody on, for instance, Instagram or, you know, on social media, period. Anybody could be anybody. You know, you could show somebody else cause. I'm not, I need you to know me for me before... Mm -hmm. Don't even look at my photos. Don't look at Instagram. Don't look at none of that. Come out at me and learn me. I, that's that's not that. So we had we had a bond. We we had a we had a bond and um, through conversation, of course. And they had you know they had something that they both had in common. Um, and then me and her, you know, had our bond, and we're mothers, so we have that in common. We have daughters. We have that in common. They had something in common. So it was all like, okay, we all got a bond. We all have something attached to, you know, one another that we can fit in and make it comfortable. So that's what the thing was, too. Like, it was all communication, all comfortable. We put you in our lives daily. It was yeah. daily. 
face time, daily activity. We made sure there was not one moment that you may have missed or we may have missed. We wanted to know everything. So we put you in that where we communicated with you well. We every day wanted to put you in our life of what we was doing. Even if it was randomly sitting down on the couch watching TV, we, we FaceTime. You watched the movie with us. Watching with us. On FaceTime. <laughs> You don't think you don't think she was kind of intimidated by your relationship because some women coming into a relationship sometimes are int intimidated of what's already bonded, like what you guys already have developed. I honestly, I, I wouldn't even say that could be any type of intimidation because yes, we're married, but we included you so much you couldn't yeah. feel intimidated. We put you, if we walked outside together and we made sure we was like this, yo, what up, babe? How you doing? Look, we looking at, it's sunny as hell out here. and It's cold out here. I know it's hot as hell out there in Texas. Like, we <laughs> kept that fun. You know, we kept every aspect. Even if we was about to go, we about to go shower. Um, Yo, you... Okay. Do you do what you do? You go hit your shower. We had hours, video. Like, we even made it. Even if it wasn't physical, we still made it, like, it would be like, okay, I'm on FaceTime. He's about to go shower. Me and her still on FaceTime. Um, he come out the shower. I get in the shower. He, he and her still on FaceTime. You know, and then it was when it's time to go to bed. It was on FaceTime, go to bed. I'm asleep. He's still talking. Or he sleep. We still talking. Like, even when it's time to go to sleep, she was still, you know, basically there at FaceTime. We, we wanted to do more FaceTime than texting or talking on the phone because we wanted to make it feel more physical, even though it, you know, really wasn't. But the FaceTime is live. You know, you're yeah. actually seeing us at right in there so we felt like that was more um you know more interaction that we can do and that's what we wanted more and i mean i actually came out there i flew out there um and was there for a weekend and spent the weekend with her and everything Wait, pause 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 <laughs> hey you didn't scream at us all right say less i gotta end the line yo yo i line. said the same thing <laughs> bro I said the same thing i said yo <laughs> yo go holler let me hit up alec you know you go deal with the white no, I didn't. No, I'm, I'm, I'm feel about that. Now, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my insecurities, but yo, I'm, I'm feeling some type of way now. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Yeah. Now. But you and I are here. What happened? No, I actually did. I actually did, but you was busy that weekend. Uh, I think I hit you up on my private page. I DM'd you and told y'all I was going to be in Texas. But I think that weekend, um, y'all was doing something. Y'all was busy, but I actually did. Cause oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. That yes, was I was busy. I'm busy to meet y'all. Why are we here talking about the past? Why are we talking about the past? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I did. But I was busy that weekend, so I was like, "All right." But I was there. Yeah, I was there from a uh, Friday. I think like Friday night, and I left Sunday, like Sunday afternoon. I was there for like you know just that weekend, just to you know get that physical connection. I wanted to be around or to actually you know see what it was like. And, and the whole time I was there, most of the time I was there, I Facetime him, so he was on Facetime and everything while I was there. Yeah, I, I did come out there for a little weekend. It was. It was. I like, think that was cool too to even do it like that. Send her out here, get the bond. That was. Yeah, y'all was doing right, that. Yeah. this on yeah, that right. one. I salute you on that one. Right. We, well. we, we, so, someone had real. Do you feel more comfortable now with him showing affection to someone else? Um. Well, I, I actually don't. Um. I don't feel a way. Like, but to me, it's like I don't. Like I said, that as long as I'm comfortable with the person. It's it's like really I'm not gonna say nothing to me, but not nothing. That's why I have to have the bond with the female close enough, like because it could be like my best friend. My best friend could come to him and be like, "Hey," and I won't think nothing of it. And I'm be laughing and joking. My best friend could call him hubby, and I'm just like, she'll be like, "Where my baby daddy?" Or where my husband? And I'm like, he's sitting right here. Like it, as long as I'm comfortable with the person, not true. No, it's all true. Girl. You're making faces. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah. but that's yeah. why I would like to have that comfort level with that person to where I won't feel type of way about anything that they do. Even yeah, though it that, may that, be that's the best way that, or like, other that's things really, happen, but that's really how things really truly work. Like the, the relationship kinda has to be like that for the women. Like you guys have to be right. really cool, just solid. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean it really yeah. ain't nothing. It's just like whatever. Right. You know what I mean? For some reason it's comforting, you know what I mean? Just knowing it's that, comforting, you know, that yeah, exactly. even if it's not romantic, it's just because that's how kind of our relationship flows and everything. You know, right, right. Next one, you know, what would you say? Would you say it's better? You said you was in an open triad too, right? Before this. Right. 
what would you say is easier? What, what, you know, between being and both? <clears throat> um, it depends on the individuals. I think it's both the same to me. They're both on the same level. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I mean, because yeah, I, I, I know, of, um, you know, since you're not, since being in the clothes, you're, that's your main, your core. You're, that's who you right. focus on. And having the option with it open, you have those outside partners and those outside relationships. You know, mm -hmm. so I guess I wouldn't know how it is, you know, because, you know, we don't deal with all that. You know, we leave the talk there, but we don't. But, like, how would it be because you have those outside partners and then you have your triad, you know what I mean, at home? Right. I don't know. Look, shit be sounding like a lot to me, you know what I'm Words. saying? It's gonna be shit. I don't know how to word it. Like, what a, you know what the fuck I'm trying to say, yo. <laughs> You're like, damn, them lines is crazy. But nah, yeah, it's um the open once again, you get a little bit more freedom. But once you get a certain individual, you don't care about that freedom anymore. It's because like, yo, damn, I clicked with you and it took me a minute to click with you. I don't care for clicking with the next person. I got you. And then we found somebody else that's just Yeah, like I said, um, Originally, I was, I can honestly say I was solo poly uh, before we met. And then once again, I met the person I was with prior. And then that became a triad. Of course, that then ended. Then I once again went back to monogamy in a sense, but I was still in a poly mindset. Uh, started talking to her. We obviously got married and then went into a triad again. Because once again, I said before that I'm most comfortable in a triad situation that's where i feel most comfortable is once again this is never about a sex aspect if, because if that's the case i got someone right here that i can do any and everything to whenever we feel like we want to do it um so it's definitely not about that it's about the bond with another individual that i absolutely love because if me and her have a spat she got someone to go talk to she ain't got to go looking outside to go talk to somebody else or hit somebody else up to have that conversation. Neither would I. I got someone else I can go to. But once again, we still gonna have that communication. Even if we do have a spat, most likely I'm going to the living room, she gonna be in here, she gonna turn on some, uh, what is it, uh, um, live PD or something like that. I'm gonna be in there playing 2K, smoking some unbuns in 2K real quick. And then we are gonna come back to this bedroom and still chop it up. Like, that's it. We are not gonna be mad for three days and nah, I'm gotta go, I gotta go outside. Nah, ain't none of that. You ain't leaving this house until this conversation is done. You good? Mm -hmm. I'm good. All right, let's go get something to eat or let's go get a drink or something. But I mean, that's how that go, man. <laughs> we 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 not we not gonna go outside too far of this dynamic. We actually like this dynamic. Yeah. Once again, we got kids when it comes down to it. Um, so we 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 don't want to stray too far off the Richter scale where the shit just look crazy. Not saying that anyone's dynamic is crazy or looks crazy, but you know. To us, no, I, I know exactly what you mean. That, you, you know, know you like, go to the moon. I, I know what, what my level of intake is. Like, you know, what I, mean? what I can right. do. Sometimes, you know, people do more than me, and I applaud them. But yeah, I'd be like, yo, yo, that's why I like talking to everybody because it educates me. Cause sometimes it was like, damn, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just a whole different way of thinking. I love it. But yeah, right. most definitely, um, the most definitely, what, what you call them? Well, hold on, let me get to the other question because someone else keeps writing this real quick. Do y'all think the fact that Y'all include her every day could have been too much. I guess you're talking about the um Right. Um No, I think it actually made her more comfortable with it, but I don't know. It could have been I it could have been a toss up. It could have been a toss up Honestly. because at the end of the day at the end of the day now we feel like she did or she did things or she did things a certain way um that portrayed to us to make her fit in more. So we thinking that the reason of the things we did find out or didn't know about her was because of the fact she, she hid those things because she wanted to fit in more. So it, it could have been the fact that it was an everyday thing, but then also if we left it for a little bit, like few hours, didn't speak or, you know, um, didn't FaceTime, then also we didn't want her to come in like, okay, so we all at like, Y'all not even thinking about me no more now, so I'm just out the picture now because we don't want her to feel like, okay, after a couple of hours or a day, we don't speak to you or hear from you. Now she's like, all right, well, I don't think I'm going to be in this because they're not even really about me or they don't really even 
you know, want to be. So it, it's kind of a toss up. It, it kind of could have been, it could have been a little a much because the more we, you know, got involved FaceTime, the more she probably wanted to be physically there involved and probably backed off a little bit, but also try to make herself want to fit in more, or more comfortable. It, it could have been. I mean, it could have been true. I, I mean, I would think is we never flashed or did anything flashy or talk about money or talk about what we got. We'll talk about the possessions, talk about the love that we have. We never talk about our relationship as just we're married or this is my wife or yeah. whatever the case may be. If I said, babe, you was babe too. You know, uh, it's like it was It was never um, a hierarchy to the point where she felt any different than how I made her feel. Yeah, and even even though it was like he, he never physically met her, I did. And even though it wasn't a... Um, point to where we was like okay well right now you're not gonna be our girlfriend or you're not gonna be our wife we're gonna you know you're gonna level up to that it was like immediate bond and immediate conversation to where we're like oh you're my wife you're my wife i'm, I'm bond with you like that you're my wife and then when we talk it was never oh my husband or this and that it was like our husband no our husband at work and she'll be like where our husband at or he at work or um, where with my wife or where I was our wife, that's how we spoke. It wasn't oh my husband or my this and my that. There was nothing oh my. And it yeah. even with me being this the first actual interaction, I never still felt owner I never did ownership. That because I wanted to make well. her feel more comfortable. So it was kind of an up and down thing with, with whether that FaceTime and too much was too much or whether it I think I think well, it's difficult. <laughs> I think long distance relationships just in general, even with my, my yeah. difficult. Yeah, at least you were right. doing that. Man, they 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 unclaim me all the time. You know what I mean? I piss one of them off. Your nigga over there did this. Now I'm like, man, who I belong to? Shit, <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, be unclaiming my dude, hey. man. Chill. <laughs> like shit, man. They, they be treating me like shit. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, no I love them both. I love them both. They're both attitudes, and the way when when I see them on live and see them, they both have me like, oh my god. I, I kind of like. I think I'm both of them in one. I'm like both of them in one when it comes to because <laughs> when I'm watching them, it's like look at Shalon. I'm like, look at Shalon's face. That's me. And then I, it's like, did you hear what Chantel just said? That's me. <laughs> it's like I think I'm both of them in one. They, they, so they I come in the crib and she got to I, I love them. Like. <laughs> when, when they go out, I have to watch certain things. Right now, Chantel's pretty. Look, Chantel, fuck that. I'm gonna say this story, and she probably will come out the room when I say this. Look, but before Chantel got pregnant, right? They had they had tried to beat up somebody behind this car thing at their job. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is y'all doing? So after that, I was like, yo, y'all ain't allowed to go to places together that y'all got to handle business because y'all are mad, whatever, right? Right. Back. Then recently, they went to go get some burgers. And they didn't try to beat some dude at the drive-thru because he was reversing. And Chantel pregnant, trying, trying to fight the man and the wife. I'm like, this is what you want, Dan. Like, y'all niggas... This is why I'm like, allowing y'all to go nowhere. Like, not allowed to go nowhere. But this is... Like, nigga. Like, come on. Oh, <laughs> anybody that's, see that's so they can send something That's this one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's just one. That might just that might just be me. I don't know. When we do find find our our person, you know, that might be that might be us. We might go out one night that's together, it. just me and all, and, he, and we might come back with a story. He might be like, Nah, y'all know what? Y'all can't go out together without me right. because this. Y'all gotta call y'all every time. Problem. I gotta yeah. send text messages because I gotta right. make sure y'all ain't right. in jail or what the hell y'all doing, yes. man? All right. Because this is gonna so pop at any moment. <laughs> We could be regular conversation, and you just hear. Da, 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 da. You like yo, what? You know what to look at? What just happened? Yes, yes. Well, man, I'm, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Uh, if the incoming wife wants children, are y'all okay with that? Yep. Yeah, we are. Y'all, that's fine. I, I would never take. I would never take motherhood from anybody. So if if someone came in and wanted children. Um, I'm done. I don't want no more. So, <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> I mean, I love children. Yeah, that shit. I love children, but I don't want no. <laughs> I don't want any more. I'm fine. So, you know, if someone did want children, I would never take motherhood away from anyone because it's a it's a great experience. That I so I would never say, oh no, that yes, definitely, definitely. Facts. Uh, yeah, most definitely. The yeah, one we was like, with, like, she like, actually like, had a child, but she wanted another one. I didn't mind at all. Yeah, 
that was the biggest thing, like, for Shalon with Chantel. Now, shit, not that long ago, they was doing on pregnancy workouts in the fucking living <laughs> room while I was on live with, with Trip. That's why I kept looking at all that, because I'm like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're breathing all this <laughs> shit. What's going on over there? Talking about in, out. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I think that that was one of the Shalon's things um, for Chantel because Chantel didn't have kids, so she wanted her to experience mm -hmm. it, go through it. Right. It's kind of cool. She, Shalon's thing is it's kind of cool seeing it from this perspective now. Right. You know, right. I mean, you know see how she transition, see everything going on. She got the damn um, pregnancy pillow, all uh, that. Like, so it's, it's it's been fun. It's been it's been a journey. Right. But besides, like, how many children do y'all got? Two. We have two. You have two. Two girls. Two girls? Eleven and two girls, yeah. Eleven and eleven and three. Eleven and three. Ooh, yeah. Dude. My my two oldest is my two oldest is what? Nineteen, twenty, twenty and um nine, eighteen? Twenty and that can't yeah, You got the old ones there. up there. <laughs> they, they I have, I have, a, I have I, a eighteen. I, I like I have an eighteen year old five before him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, I have a son eighteen outside of him, but we have two girls together. Oh, that's weird. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Is it so bringing it bringing in somebody? Is there any type of rules? You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't say veto. Or I wouldn't say like like hierarchy. But like, is there any rules really kind of in play? You know, some because some some throuples, some tri those, um tries have certain rules sometimes. Right. Do y'all put um, into play at the beginning or work on those? <laughs> No, um, not not just really. No secrets, no, secrets, just, no lies, no yeah. hidden anything. Because, like I said, she's a goddamn detective, and you know, I'm the, I'm the, I'm I watch, the. Listen, I watch a lot of Law, law and Order. <laughs> I'm a PD. I watch a lot of. Listen, once again, so we don't need to. Is that what that shit means? Bro, <laughs> bro, bro you know, what you want? You want Chicago PD? I'm talking about some. <laughs> Yo, you had a MySpace page back in the day. I did. God damn! What are you but the, thing is, the thing is, I I won't even say nothing at the time. I won't even say that at the time I find out. I just sit there like, hmm. and then it's like a couple of days. I'm like, cause I be having a thing in my head: is it worth it or is it not? And then after a while, I just like, you know what? So we can stop thinking about it. I'm just gonna say it. I don't care. I don't even care no more. I'm just gonna say it. But <laughs> it pop up just, randomly. Man, this that's just just no crazy. secrets. I don't like like just no secrets because we're we're very open. Um, even when it comes to each other, our communication is very open. The good, the bad, whatever, just say it, get it out. And it, even if you if you don't like something about me, let me know because I'm never gonna know that something's wrong or bad about me if you don't tell me. I'm gonna think it's all good. So you have to have yes. that communication to let me know because I can be hurting you in in one aspect and I'm not even know it. Like like me, I'm not. I have never been in my life like an, an affectionate, affectionate person. And then once I started, you know dealing with him and he's more affectionate sometimes in the beginning i was like eh, like mm, like but i started to notice that he didn't he don't like that like i started to notice that he's affectionate and that kind of like puts him at a damp until the way like damn so now i'm like more open to affectionate to being affectionate at the end of the day because you have to make that person feel just as comfortable as you want to feel so communication to me is just like number one and when you don't communicate i have to find out stuff for myself that's when i'm like okay no Cause I don't know what else I might not know, and just know. And if it's little simple things, especially, that's what really breaks me. Like the little simple things, like what you lie about that for? Like, yo, that, that, that's fat right there. <laughs> that, 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 that. I always say that. I, I always say though, yo, you lie to me about something so small, man. I cannot. You, you go most definitely keep it from me when it's made, right. and I'm not right. with it. So fuck that. Yeah. I treat everything. Something so small, I don't, I don't know. Care. Yeah, Word. some of those moments you don't know how big something else may be. So to yeah. me, it's like really, you really what you mean. Like, there's a lot of things like to not keep bringing the our our trial we had up, but there's a lot of things that came up that was not said, and it overpowered other things that was said. So it was like, why would you lie about that? That's not even that serious. That's not even nothing. Word. And it's like, we still didn't bring it up. We still didn't mention it. We still didn't say anything about it. Like, you know, we just left it alone because it was like, okay, there, maybe there was a reason why you didn't want to disclose it. We're going to yeah. let you rock with that. No, but, that ass. To this day, you know? unless she's in this live right now and she knows who she is, if she's in here, she probably would never know that we knew anything. Never know stuff that we know because we never mention it. I will. It's all right. I the maybe there's something the in you. Shit. Yeah. I, I mean, because maybe she's you Someone ask what your sign is. Oh, I'm a Sag. She a, I'm a Gemini. Fucking Gemini, bro. A Gemini, bro. <laughs> 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 let me get all the clothes up.
up real quick. Get it out, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, shit. You know the song they love to hate. I'm a Gemini. It's all good. Yo, her moves be switching in two point three. Yo, it's yo. I don't know. get a. I tell you, you. I'm a thanks. Stuff. Yo, <laughs> everybody in this room, yo, please just send one up for me. But like, yo, Anthony from the Nice Family, man. I hope, I hope that he can. <laughs> it's just some days I don't feel like being bothered. I just I just wake up one morning and I just don't feel like being bothered with, every day. with nobody like with the world with every nobody day. like just <laughs> you see that <laughs> you see that look sad gang I see y'all sad gang in the building you know I just nah. wake up one morning and be happy go lucky the next nah. one I just don't want to be being bothered bro bro should it be real she'll wake up and be like hey babe give me a kiss and by the time she walk around the bed she be like mm, what the fuck just happened what Hey, look, look, Jen Jen Star said, stop hating. Stop hating on the Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> they always hating on Gemini. They always hating on Gemini. I don't get it. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, like, all right. All right. Let's get back on back on topic, man. Cause we yeah, we yeah, over yeah. at well, <laughs> well, but yeah, oh, I think really? I think um, one thing that I do like that y'all keep touching on is communication. I, I don't think the people understand the importance of that because so, yeah, it seems like that 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 she didn't have a lot of the communication. I love the involvement. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love, yo, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, right? Cause I'm, a little, I'm a little bent right now, so I'm going to go ahead, you know, just hide through my shows. But, <laughs> but you know, was I, I was watching Anthony's, um, he'll do his little speech, like his little talks. So I knew you was kind of an observant individual. You know what I mean? You kind of, yeah, right, yeah, hold yeah. on, someone just wrote me on some bullshit. It was, my stocks but um yeah <laughs> hey everybody need to invest there's money out there to be made but um money, yeah, money. So i'll watch your videos so i knew you were very aware and everything that was going on so that's why i really wanted to tune in when i found out y'all have kind of broke that situation now to kind of see what it is but you could kind of look at it that yeah the communication was there i love that y'all are so big on that because that is very much key in these relationships right. I realize yeah. that i love the involvement because sometimes people the ones coming in they do get intimidated by the relationship, but from the sounds of it, y'all did every key, like every key thing to make sure they were included. There's only so much, right. time, especially right. out of town. Like, what the fuck can I do? I can't come. Yeah, right. If I'm saying your house, right? Right. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you want to do? So yeah, right. I really, I really, really do love that. That that shit is live. What are y'all like? I look. Everybody has a preference, right? Some of the females, and shout out to the females I brought on here. They were just gully. So they were just, yo, they were so wild and so just straightforward with the shit. I'm looking, he, they better be like this. They better. And I, you know, <laughs> off the description, what are you kind of looking for in the, what's your method to finding the third? Well, shit, let me ask that question first before I ask mine. What's your method of finding the third? We um we don't really have a method. Um we we follow a lot of um we we you know have our page, we have um People who solo, people who just find us on other pages. It's, if I, we see someone that's beautiful, is pretty, and they message us, they they want to hit us up, or just like when BPN posted the last chick, um, you know, I commented to them on it, and I was like, she's very beautiful, and you know, her and my husband got something to take by bike, so um, that was that. And then she DM'd me, and she was like, you're beautiful. I was like, you are as well. Like it's just, you know, I mean, we don't really have a particular, you know where we really look anywhere it's just no, if, we, it, we, if it comes to us it, it comes to us that's just how it is we went to a poly meet and greet um that was here before that was no, no, um right. they also asked where you're okay i know where y'all at uh, where, it's in the name we're from new york we're new york so um <laughs> we, yes we're in new york and in, in new york is not really as Probably saying as low. As, yeah, it's very low. It's not really as as hype as Texas, <laughs> but but it is. Yeah, I gotta come out here. It's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard um, trying to poly in New York. But when we found the meet and greet that was going to be here, we like jumped on it because we was like, yes, at least you know people that we can interact with, people we can actually have this type of conversation with. And we went to the meet and greet. So meet and greets, I think, are very good. Because you meet people with different dynamics and you meet solo people. You meet people who are looking but don't know really what they're looking for. People who are probably already doing it but don't really know what they're really doing. They think it's cheating or they think it's, you know, whatever. But <laughs> they, they just think it's, you know, oh, I'm going to just, yeah, my man, mess with this girl. And I know, like, 
it's just you know you you talk to people about it and they actually be like oh well you know but I'm waiting for a meet and greet with y'all. I can't wait to meet the poly, the, the Porter family. I can't wait. So, no, yeah, meet and greet. Yeah. I, 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 if I ever see y'all, don't be mad. If I'm like, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm telling y'all right nah, now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yo, Alex, I'm like, you know, I ain't going to do all that, bro. I'm just letting you know now. I ain't going to be like, yo, stop playing Alex. I'm not doing none of that. Damn, son. I, I mean, damn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all right, man. We regular people, man. We just be chilling. You know, man, most, most definitely. Everybody started writing BK in the house. They got Brooklyn. You ready? You already know. Brooklyn. Right. 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 So right. right. You know what it is. They let y'all know yeah, what it is. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to ask, like, do you, is there, like, someone you're actually looking for, like, the type of individual you're trying to vibe with? You know, I don't know if you want to put a full description like, yo, we, she need to be, you know, five, six, looking thick. I don't like it. Like, she, 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 I, don't, I ain't going to say five, six. I mean, I'm no, five, I'm five, five four. Up, you know, now, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm five, four. So, you know, she can be short, tall, not tall. Uh, I don't know about tall, tall. I don't know how he like tall women or not. Women, I know that he been, been short, but okay. Um, I'm five, four. But I do like them thick. I'm not gonna lie. I like them thick. I don't really like skinny skinny bones because to me it's like I don't want something to touch on. I want something to feel on. I want to be able to feel <laughs> something. Like I, I want to be able to feel something. <laughs> so I like I like meat. Not meat meat, but you know I like them thick. I do. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm not too busy, bro. I'm fucking too busy. <laughs> I would yo. I feel you on that note. I mean, not, not right. really sad. I mean, you gotta be thick, but you gotta have something. You just gotta have something, you know. Uh, so, yeah, 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 nah. You know, okay. I was ho hopeful, but I'm six feet tall. <laughs> oh look, you done crash your drink. Yo, hey, I'm more look. than just still climb. You like the jungle gym. <laughs> You gotta wear flats <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere, you gotta wear flats. We're going to the club, flats. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> DMs is open, you know, make sure, but yo, yeah. I, I really love y'all's vibe, man, like, you know, it, it's really, it's really hard out here to really connect with people, and it's really hard for single yeah, women to connect yeah. with um, couples, because sometimes they feel like coming into the relationship, they're there to fix the relationship, but y'all seem like y'all's got y'all's on lock, it ain't nothing to be fixed, it's already solid, you know what I mean, yeah. it's very yeah. beautiful to see in y'all's union, that's facts, man, that, that's really, really fair, y'all coming to the All Black, um, the All Black event? The new joint? The uh the one in um July I think. July. July. I think. Yeah, we was thinking about we was thinking about sliding on down there. Yeah, yeah, most definitely yeah, trying yeah. to make it out. But you know, I might be the only one there. I don't know right now because you know Chantel's supposed to have a baby around. Right. There. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, what yo say where everybody could kind of hit you at? You know what I mean? Where they can scream at y'all. Yeah, I don't know if y'all want to give y'all personals or y'all just want to do the nice family joint. Yeah, hit us up. Hit us up on the Nice Family page, man. We we definitely, we both got access to it. So if you sign in the DMs, don't think you hollering at me. Don't think you hollering at us. We, Not a secret. we both in there. Once package. again, no secret. <laughs> package deal. Sign, sealed, delivered. You already know what it is, man. But, you know, we, as long as you open and you honest with yourself and you know what you want and you're not about playing games, because right about now, ain't nobody got time to play games with nobody, man. People getting older. People are, you know, I, I don't want to say dying earlier, but it is what it is. Our, our grandparents was living to 100 and change. We out here living to 30, 40. This shit is crazy out here. So we try to enjoy life to the best, man. And yeah. like I said, make sure if y'all going to hit them DMs, don't be don't be looking forward to play no games, no lies, no nothing. Keep it a buck Bad. all the way. <laughs> Keep it 100, man. Keep like, yo, real. if you be like, yo, I got a hoopty. All right, cool. Yeah. That shit is just A to B. We good. I don't care if you don't got a BM or something like that. I'm good. I, we don't care about none of that, man. Just keep it a buck, man. And keep be honest with yourself first before you even attempt to hit that DM. Because, like I said, she's a goddamn detective. So she's going to first 48, look you up real quick, and 
you gonna be like, damn, she know my whole life story. <laughs> Shit is real. <laughs> oh, keep blowing up your spot. Yo, yeah, okay, you watch like, Chicago PD, like all that. Look, yes, that's yes. this one, yo. That's all. Yep. That's damn. That's what it is. Yeah. You see? The nigga with the deep oh, voice. Yeah. I be like, why he sound like Batman? <laughs> Word. <laughs> <Say> Gotham. <laughs> be fucking bugging me out. I love it. My favorite. My favorite. I'm all into it too. My favorite. But yes. that's live. I'm gonna make sure I, I tag out everything, yo. You know what I mean? If y'all all lie tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing some bullshit tomorrow. Tomorrow the born day. So bro, yeah, so you we already know always tune We always do you know that. that. All the time. Man, always, we definitely appreciate it. Man, I always love the, the shit y'all do. I love when y'all called in there. I still remember that shit. You know what I mean? I Word, remember, bro, like, bro. I that's facts. <laughs> Like I say, yo, we, we definitely we love and support. You know, we love everything that y'all doing for the community. We love the information that y'all putting out there because it's a lot of false information about what this is. People yeah. people don't understand that it ain't one way to poly, bro. You poly your own way, man. There's there's many ways to doing it, and y'all sharing y'all stories and how it goes and and y'all experiences. It it helps everyone else that's yeah. looking for you know that bullet support to say hey, here's some sort of instruction on how we did ours. You don't necessarily have to follow it to a T. You make it your own. You write your own story, but here's our story just in case you want something a little bit to go off of. And that's okay. how we that's approach how we, Yeah, that's definitely how. And we appreciate it, man. That's why I told her and I could tell everybody, man, I will forever show support. Once again, y'all over there, we over here, but if y'all having Always. a phone call show or whatever it is, man, we there, man. We, we run to get in. We like, what do you mean? The point of family? Like, hey, look, look. We're going to be out there in New York soon. You know what I mean? So, yo, it ain't nothing but a phone call. So, yeah. Whatever. We got y'all, man. Definitely. Definitely. Nah, we definitely big, appreciate you. Really. Look, <laughs> <the time. laughs> Hey, right, thank y'all for joining me tonight, man. And I want to make sure thank I'm you. Sure I'm you appreciate tag it. everything. Thank y'all for sharing y'all story and being so open and rocking with the kid, man. That's facts. Right. You're no ready, problem. brother. You're What's ready. What's up, man? Go on, on. All right, much love. Y'all have a good one. You're Have a good night, too. Man, yo, I love that. I mean, I, I love that thing. I love the vibe. That was like the first time I actually got to talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Yo, I... I love their vibe. That shit is like no other. I love seeing people like that because when you know the connection is straight like that and they know what they want, I love that they were treating the third on an equal basis. You don't see that a lot, you know what I mean? And that they weren't even putting the hierarchy system. Man, that's love. Anybody look, yeah, they the ones. But um, thank y'all again for tuning in. We did some back-to-backs -to tonight. Tomorrow we're going to go live. I'm bringing both the wifeys on. They're tempted to shake ass, but ain't no ass going to get shook. One's pregnant and the other one needs to... um. No, she has bad knees. Will you do an interview with? Will you do an interview with people who are solo poly? Yeah, I've been doing um Nubia Queen. I I did like um, I did one that was solo poly, and she was bisexual looking for a couple. Uh, the, it's on the YouTube, and then I also did one yesterday. She was solo poly, but she was married solo poly. So yeah, just look at those. Um, I, but I, I'm gonna keep continuing doing them and bringing people on. You know what I mean? Seeing different perspectives. I really prefer y'all to hit me in the DMs so we could discuss what we're going to talk about. Certain people I'm bringing on, I already kind of know their history and know what they do. So it's easy for the interview to kind of flow. Because all this shit is just improv. I'm just making shit up as I go along, just talking. You know what I mean? So yeah, most definitely. Man, much love, nice family. Make sure y'all follow them. I'm going to tag everything. I'm going to put the, the um a little a little short flick on it, you know what I mean? And make make sure y'all follow them. Y'all looking for some, make sure y'all scream at them. And yo, Anthony does drop some knowledge. Make sure y'all scream at them if y'all need some advice or just some jewels. And make sure y'all tune in with Trip too. And tomorrow, yo, tune the fuck in. I'm gonna have both wifeys here. They not shaking ass. They think they are, they not. But we gonna play a couple of games, probably get some money out of something because I just feel like, you know, why not? You know, make things interesting. Thank y'all again as always for tuning in. And next week we're gonna have some other shit going on live. That's facts.